Welcome to Cassiopeia Berlin, where I'm with the local death metal monsters Agonized. Uh, so guys, what's the one-on-one -on, -one on Agonized? What should everybody know about your band? We're a fucking, fucking good death metal band. That's what everybody should know. Absolutely. <laughs> you care to elaborate a bit? Tell us a little bit something about the band? Well, uh, everybody should know that uh, we bring a lot of power, a lot of energy. Our live shows are very good, as well as our uh, recorded music. Um, so it's just it's pretty brutal. It's it's very good. There's a lot of a lot of energy, and I'm pretty new, fairly new to the band. Um, they've been around a few long, years longer than I've been there. Um, yeah, I guess maybe if there's anything else about the band that would probably be known, it's that uh, I guess we try and, you know, orient ourselves after sort of an old school sound without kind of uh, trying to copy any one band specifically. I guess our main musical goal is to kind of uh, yeah, come from an old school place, but try and combine it in a creative, fresher way. So, yeah. Okay, and uh, like you said, uh, you joined the band in the end of last year, if I'm correct. Yes. So, uh, how has the first year been? It's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun. We, uh, we played some shows in Berlin, and we also played in Holland. And, um, yeah, it's, it's been really fun. It fit really well when I met the guys and we played for the first time. It was, it was like love at first sight. So, yeah, I'm really happy to be a part of the group now. And how about you guys? How has the first year been with her? <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, it really uh, kind of immediately clicked as the kind of vocalist we wanted to have. So uh, it kind of finished the identity for, of the band, sort of where we wanted it to be, and uh, kind of gave us the basis to sort of start to play more and kind of put ourselves out there. Because I mean, we've been around for a couple of years, but. Uh, it's only now that we're really kind of stepping out and playing more shows and kind of getting everything together. So uh, she was a pretty important part of getting that going. I'd say. Okay, and uh, you already mentioned that you are playing more shows now and uh, that your shows are quite energetic. But um, for what kind of experience uh, are you going for with your live shows? Can you tell me a bit more about your live? About my live? Yeah, yeah, live. Live, live about our live performances? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, that was personal. <laughs> um, uh, our live performances, yeah, what are those like? They're steamy, we get the people moving, and uh, what, what could I possibly say? I'm sorry. I feel like I should be able to say more to this. Um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I think that because we, we, uh, it took us a long time before we Okay, let's talk a bit about Berlin's metal scene because I've had some uh, mixed information that because Berlin is not known for its metal music, uh, but uh, somebody has also told me that there is a lively and big scene. So what are your thoughts on the scene? Uh, I've lived here for 11 years and I can definitely say, in my opinion, there's a large metal scene. There's generally a large subculture, like alternative scene in Berlin. And but you can find a lot of metalheads. There are a lot of metal bars and some clubs. I mean, maybe not as much in some other countries, but it's quite, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of metalheads here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm originally from uh, Holland, and I would say Berlin is kind of uh, uh, a bigger metal scene. And big cities in Holland. And it's also, I mean, Berlin is a capital city, so it's a very international city. So I would say that uh, one of the biggest strengths of Berlin's metal scene is kind of that you have really people from all over the world that live here. So I would say the Berlin metal scene isn't really just sort of a German metal scene. It's kind of very international, a bit of everywhere sort of 
combined, I'd say. It has a little taste of every kind of scene, at least. And I mean, in general, Berlin is a great city for music overall, so kind of whatever scene you're into, you're going to find some sort of a base and some sort of an audience. So, yeah, for metal, I definitely would say Berlin is a great place. Okay, let's uh, talk a bit about uh, death metal then. What does uh, death metal mean to you? Does it has a, does it have a deeper meaning than just beer and party, or uh, what does it mean to you guys? Well, I don't think beer and party necessarily has very much to do with death metal. Maybe for some people, that's more like funny metal. I think. Um, I mean, we have fun with what we're doing. I think you should have fun even if you're doing death metal. But I mean, it is quite uh, brutal. I mean, it's. Um, there's a darkness to it, there's a brutality to it that, um, I mean, I guess that's what death metal is for me. It's like harnessing power without the power metal. You know, it's like kind of like, uh, it's an energy thing. You know, it's just, uh, yeah, it's difficult for me to say, really. I guess. I think it's, uh, <laughs> for me, it's um, uh, like a um, uh, uh, parent. Comparison. Uh, in normal life, I'm very easygoing, very ah. relaxed. Uh, I would agree with that completely for myself as well. I don't know, it's just sort of a, uh, it's a very aggressive form of metal, so I feel like it's, you know, a good place to leave a lot of your own aggressions and let your sort of energy out in a concentrated way. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, the music is the violent thing and then the people can be relaxed at the end of it. I feel like it's, it's kind of like martial arts or something like that, you know? It's like after you let it all out, you know, the people will be there. So I'd say that's a big part of the death metal, any kind of very aggressive music. Okay, and uh, for you guys, uh, how is it going on the recording end of things? Uh, there's been some uh, hints of an EP or a demo. Uh, what's the situation? <laughs> well, we actually do have something to announce. Uh, we're going to be releasing our EP soon, very soon, in the next few months there should be an EP available from us. And uh, we're very sorry to those that like to listen to us for having to wait so long. But there were some organizational things, and now there will soon be something for people to have and hold and listen to. Uh, okay, uh, that's uh, all for me. And uh, you are playing tonight at here here at Cassiopeia. So, what are your expectations for tonight? We're gonna have a really fucking good time. That's my expectation tonight. We're gonna let out a lot of energy, and hopefully, people will be into it. But uh, we always have a good time anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. We're gonna go do our thing. We're going to animate the crowd. The stage is vibrating. It's gonna be crazy and hot. And Everybody's going to lose their minds, their ears will start bleeding, it's going to be insane. So, that's it. <laughs> Looking forward to that uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.